Hi, um, my name is Reese Hendricks, and here's my uh, presentation over Susan Rothenberg. Okay. Um, she was born in Buffalo, New York, these photos. And um, she obtained her Bachelor's of Fine Arts from Cornell University in 1965. Um, and then she went to Washington, DC to um, uh, study at George Washington University and the Co Corcoran Museum School. This is George Washington Museum or uh, George Washington University. And then uh, here's some photos of her younger. Um, then we got, um, oh. uh, in 1969, she moved to New York to study dance and uh, she joined a group of decorated artists and uh, exhibited her minimalist paintings. Um, and she like fell in love with the body and they, like, yeah, there. But then she had her first exhibition at 112 Green Street, this building, it's beautiful. Uh, probably just have, I just love the look of it, especially in uh, 1975, wonderful. Um, so 1975, it's like the rise of minimalism art and she just like was making that the perfect time. And um, she had this exhibit and um, it was, it consisted of life-size horse paintings like this. And um, it's the minimalist just taking figure and just, really playing with that and it has just these gestural strokes the lines to make it flat just like all these uh features and she just really worked with silhouette and the figure and all that it's really interesting um and then uh actually i have a quote for this one um almost 20 years later peter shed shed all um, I assume an art critic um, could be wrong, but uh, he said he called that 1975 exhibition a eureka moment because for him and some artists, it brought painting back from the dead, having introduced symbolic imagery into minimalist abstraction. And yeah, I that's what the show kind of set for him. And it just like gave substance to her name. And then came 1978, which new image painting was uh, this sort of group show at the Whitney Museum of American Art. And, and uh, these are the spaces. This is not her art, but those are the spaces at this time. And um, so it was um, this thing where it just brought a bunch of figure artists who just made in different ways and then just had their nights where they would show their work and this was still with the horse paintings where it's just like very figurative and just has like lines through it to show that shadow and just like motion and um so i have a few quotes for this one while most of the artists went on to substantial careers the glue holding them together as a distinct entity didn't hold in a 19, 1987 new york times article titled a painting landmark in focus roberta smith described new image painting as a refreshing alternative to the unflinching abstraction and in industrial forms of minimal art but one that is viewed often as transitional an art movement that never took off which it wasn't our art movement. They wanted to make that clear. It was more the transition from minimalism into neo-expressionism, which I find very interesting to have this little moment captured in time of that like evolution. And then I have some uh, quotes from Susan Rothenberg herself. Uh, we weren't a movement. We are a bunch of individuals who are reintroducing images. It seems strange to me that we would be brought together and called something. And she said, we were, we were all very separate islands in a sea of sculpture, which I find is a very beautiful quote and very cool way to think of all of these diverting styles, but are still in the same 
area almost. Um, and then New York Times said, new image painting show seems tentative, caught between two generations of artists. This may indicate something larger, the insecurities that American painters of the early 1970s, 1970s uh, insulated with the tenets of pure abstraction felt in deviating from it, which I think is another very cool quote to see, like the clash of that. And then uh, Rothenberg was absorbed into neo-expressionism, a fact that it on its own has made her the most prominent of her new image colleagues. And her work has become increasingly complex in its use of narrative and space, which is very true. Um, yeah, these are that era. This is the scale, so huge. And just like all of these cool parts to it, just like the flatness or just the motion. Yeah, the gestural aspects, just the shadows. I, I don't know. Very cool. Um, but uh, she's known for these horse paintings a lot, which, yes, I do think it, it's obviously deserved. And I believe that, but I, she also has so much more work. This is from like the very start. So it's just like very distraught and like, oh, she's like known for this. Uh, I mean, it is a very big moment, but at the same time, I'm just like, I don't know. I enjoy her other work. So I guess that's just it, but yeah. Um, and then there's the 1980s where it's just these very dark, like almost depressing, um, mostly dark, like toned um, pieces where it's just mostly figures, which I really like this man walking, the figures like in doorways and everything like that. These very cool, uh, some prints, just complete abstract minimal, or just like, yeah. And um, I don't know, just very dark phase it seemed, but this is uh, uh, towards the end of the 1980s, I believe around 1989, she met or she uh, married Bruce Nauman and they got a ranch in New Mexico. And um, to quote, they have a ranch, uh, or yeah, they have a ranch, work turns more vibrant and lively and her newfound interest in using the memory of observed and experienced events and then in parentheses, a riding accident, a near fatal bee sting, walking the dog, a game of poker or dominoes, which, yeah, I find that also, I mean, you'll see, but um, very interesting seeing the earlier work to like this big chunk next. These are very poor quality, but it gets better. Um, uh, this one's calling, calling the dogs over. So yes, just the feeling of the arm coming out and just like that. And then the abstract dog, the frog here. Um, this, uh, yeah, just like the motion right here and just all that um, wonderful. Uh, this is part of the poker series, very abstract, just the heads coming through, the cards on the table, the color, the point of view perspective is so big for her. and. I really enjoy that because it's abstract, but in a different way. It's just like, I don't know. Um, through her work, it is very like uncanny in the sense where it feels almost like a memory. And that's very cool. I love just like these faces, this guy looking to his right. This is another poker one, the hands coming through the table, just because it's, it's the means of the hands. It doesn't matter. It's just like, I don't know, the color here, just the different like shades within all of this and just the sketchiness parts, I don't know. Very cool. I love the perspective in all of them, just like really looking down at the scene, but the uh, amount of layers is wonderful. Um, this one's Skull and Bones. I just love the color in this, the red with blue in it, and then here. The shadow being right here, the red bones. Sorry, I have a, I, I want to talk about a lot, so I'm kind of going fast. This one's called Pink Couch. I love this one. 
the like feeling of the right arm coming around here with the person's friend, partner, whatever, the dog sitting here in the glass. And then just like here, doesn't make exact sense, but it's just like, uh, but it also does make sense. It's just the feeling and I just love that. And then this one's another, this one's a Domino's one, which I love this one. The, the dude with the red, like hiding his Domino's and all that. And just the colors here. There's just like the teal with the striking red. It just works. For some, it's just like, oh, like, I don't know. Some are just like, it shouldn't work, but it does. And I find that very cool. Love the layers. And right here, just the complexity, right? I don't know. And just shadows, the... Oh, I don't know. Um, this one's called Galacta Creek, I believe. And she found a dead cow in one of the creeks. And this is the painting of it. The frog jumping across here. The color used to be green back here. The red, like maybe sunrise, uh, sunset along the water. This part, I love like gotta love the frog right here the cow itself the creek the hill the sun striking down here very cool and again just very sketchy but also gestural in the sketchiness and then i want to round it off because i feel like this is the normal time for all of them but um sadly uh uh susan rothenberg passed uh, in 2020 and I there's this great video by art 21 I love the videos and um, I would recommend it's only 12 minutes and even if you don't like the work I feel she's just a very sweet lady and thinks in a very cool way and um, very humble I feel like I don't know it's just very cool to see one-on-one -on -one with these artists so I'd recommend watching it I actually embedded a link right here Art 21, I'm not gonna, gonna guess, but Susan Rothenberg in memory, Google it, 12 minutes. I think it's very cool for, yeah, I don't know. I'm, yeah, but some more uh, stuff, more uh, interviews and artwork, check it out. Um, but yeah, I think she deserves um, definitely time in history. I mean, I'm making this, uh presentation for a reason uh yeah so thank you for your time have a wonderful day